adventure today, we are at the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum, and it is situated pretty darn close to the administrative buildings for the world headquarters of the American Quarter Horse Association. And today, we are celebrating the National Day of the Cowboy. So let's go take a walk around, see if we can find some people to talk to and some things to look at. And I hope you enjoy the exploration. National Day of the Cowboys celebration is a really big deal in Amarillo for the whole family. I'll pan around here a little bit. You can see how many kiddos are out here. Looks like some folks are, take, folks are taking refuge in the shade over there. All kinds of activities for the kiddos. Looks like that is a barrel racing course. And over here, it looks like there is a uh, jump course, stick course, jumping course. <laughs> Try to say that five times. Incorporate a little bit of Western heritage with the chuck wagon. And then we pan over to the right, and there's a great big, huge smoker on the trailer. And people are lined up to get a free meal, feed the kids. Takes a little bit of practice to learn how to throw a loop. Oh, looks like we've had an accident down here. <laughs> Somebody got bucked off. sad part is, it doesn't look like there's anyone giving these boys some instruction. Probably the most popular activity for the kiddos is to be able to get to ride on a horse.
And this year there is a special display for how quarter horses have been important through history as working horses. Let's go inside and take a look. Buckboard wagon. Many of those wagons were then converted over to chuck wagons on working ranches and on trail drives. And of course they were used by the military. Cowboys. Oh, there's a jockey in the red shirt there. Mounted police patrols. And of course the blacksmith is awfully important in the care of horses, manufacturing wagon parts, horseshoes. One day, believe it or not, this is a very important piece of transportation for many folks who lived in town. Around the walls, there are many photographs and explanations of how horses have been used. Sadly, this exhibit closes at the end of July, and we're already pretty close to that. So you won't really have an opportunity to come in and sit for yourself. And as you can see, there's a wealth of artifacts, pictorial exhibits, along with descriptions many historic photographs really showing how horses are utilized much more differently today than they have been in the past. Luckily I got here when it wasn't super crowded. would like to take you through one more area and this is more of a permanent display in this area. There's quite an extensive museum here, but I believe this room will give you a little bit of a uh, synopsis of many of the sites that you will see in the rest of the museum. dress for cowboys and cowgirls. <laughs> Buster over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
section on grooming your horse, some of the tools and implements utilized. information about the horse's anatomy. So you can learn an awful lot about American Quarter Horses by taking a visit over here. There is no charge for anything at this event or the celebration and I don't believe there's any charge for coming into this room either. However, I believe that there is a donation or charge to go through the rest of the museum. Thank you very much for joining me for the National Day of the Cowboy at the American Quarter Horse Association and Museum.